hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel like my videos and please check out my channel for other updates so the last update about twist of fate nick blackmails ria and alia for money then nick tells rambro that his family members want him to kill prachi then rambro decided to investigate the matter until it gets to the point of it let's continue prachi was sitting on her bed and she thinks of rambro's emotional words later prachi walks to rambro's room but she did not find him there Rambo reaches the police station and gets out of his car. His phone falls down. Nick disguises and picks his phone. Rambo thanks him and recalls him with Ria and asks if he is the same person who was helping Ria in the decoration. Nick not yes nervously. Rambo leaves. Nick thinks that he came to the police station to bribe the constable and destroy his previous criminal records to live a better life. Rambo meets the inspector who shows him Nick's sketch and informs him that the culprit's whereabouts is found. His team is searching his address and soon he will be caught. Nick gets tense to hearing that and he tries to leave. The constable notices him, but he escapes and getting into his car. He thinks that Rambo is behind him now. He should do something or else he will be in trouble. He calls Pretty and asks her to send him Pratchett's number or else he will be in trouble. Pretty sends Nick Pratchett's number. Nick calls Prachi and threatens her to stop her husband from following him or else he will be in trouble. Prachi gets angry and asks that who is he to threaten her. He says that he is the one who attacked her and wants her to control her husband, else he will kill her husband. Prachi gets tensed. The inspector informs Rambro that they found Nick's house address and asks him to accompany them to catch Nick. Rambro agrees. The inspector says that he seems to love his wife a lot. Rambo says that his wife doesn't understand that. The inspector silently asks the constable to behave well with Rambo, as he seems to be a troubled lover and a husband. Rambo calls him. Nick drives his taxi and thinks that he needs to take money from Ria, as he can do anything if he has money. Alia and Ria withdraw the money from their private locker and leave in their car. Shahana follows them in a taxi. The taxi driver informs her that this building has a private lockers, so Alia and Ria must have withdrawn something. Shahana asks the taxi driver to follow Alia and Ria's car. Ria notices the taxi following them and informs Alia. Alia comforts her, saying that soon, Prachi will be out of Rambro's life and Ria will get Rambro. Prachi calls Rambro and storms at him. He says he is busy. Prachi insisted on him to come home right now and stop going behind the man who attacked her. Rambro asks that how did Prachi knows. Prachi says that she knows and she insisted on Rambro to come home right now. Rambro insisted to know how did Prachi knows about Nick. Just then, the inspector calls him and he disconnects the call. Then they reach Nick's house and search it. The inspector shares his knowledge regarding the martial life. Rambro notices a photo frame and he is about to pick it. And the constable informs him about the CCTV camera outside. The inspector says it is a government surveillance camera and they need to take permission for the footage. Rambo insists to accompany the inspector to take permission. Nick barges into the police house via the window and thinks that he will take the money from Ria and Aliyah easily like he entered the house. He eyes seeing Vikram and Pallavi coming and hearing their argument where Vikram supported Prachi and Pallavi supports Ria and she prays to God that one shouldn't get an irritating wife like Prachi. Nick messaged Ria that he is in their house. Ria and Alia meet him and they notice Shahana coming. Ria eyes Nick in a cupboard and messaged that she will get him out once Shahana leaves. Alia asks Shahana why is she following them. Shahana argues that why did Alia look then seeing her. Alia and Ria storm away. Shahana senses something is wrong and walks towards the cupboard. Prachi calls Rambo repeatedly. Rambo disconnects the call. The inspector asks him to pick the call. Rambo says he would better go home and bear his wife's scolding. Prachi messaged Rambo that she fell and severely injured herself, and nobody is there to help her, so he should return home soon. Rambo read the message and rushes home to find Prachi normal. Prachi insisted on Rambo to stop following the culprit, but Rambo refused. Prachi argues with Rambo and insisted on him to get in, but Rambo refused. Then Prachi emotionally blackmails him that he will stay back for Ria baby and not her. Alia and Ria enter the room and hide the money bag in a cupboard. Ria says she needs to free Nick from the cupboard and give him the money and send him away. Ria vent out her frustration that she wanted to kill Prachi, but she herself is in a mess. 
She thought that Rambu would cry on her shoulder, but he is still with Pachi. Aliyah asks Ria to calm down. Ria says Nick is dangerous for them. Aliyah says Rambu is the problem, as he saw Nick and he will not stop until he finds Nick. So Ria should calm down first and then plan what to do next. Rambu asks Prachi that what did she say? Prachi repeats her words. Rambu says nobody can stop her. She says she doesn't want him to go. He asks why. She says just like that. Their argument continues. Rambu tries to leave, but Prachi gives his promise. He stops and says she knows how to stop him, but he will not stay and remind her repeatedly that he will not listen to her. Prachi says he has to. Rambu says that he will do whatever he is doing from home, so Prachi shouldn't stop him now. Prachi thinks that whatever it is, she knows how to control Rambro. Palavi ordered Pretty to bring her coffee. Nick inside the cupboard thinks that even he wants to have Pretty's prepared tea. Vikram searches for a fowl. Palavi asks what is he searching for and says that nobody in this house listens to her. He says it is the mirror and the mirror blue fowl. Palavi says it is in that cupboard. Nick noticed the fowl in the cupboard and gets tensed. Vikram apologizes to her for getting angry unnecessarily. Palavi says that whatever Vikram thinks, Prachi is wrong for her always. She tries to open the cupboard and finds it locked. Vikram asks that where is the key. Palavi says she never locked the cupboard. Vikram says that he has a spare key and he goes to get it. Nick gets more worried. Rambu passes by. Palavi asks where was he because she was searching for him the whole day. Rambu says she questions him and when he is at home and even when he is out. And what does she really want? Palavi asks why is he getting rude. Rambu apologizes and says that Nick is over his mind all the time. Palavi asks who is Nick. Rambu says Nick is the one who attacked Prachi and he wants to catch Nick as soon as possible. Prachi walks to Rambu. Rambu asks Palavi to inform Prachi not to interfere in his work and he walks away. Palavi taunts Prachi and asks if she heard her son's words not to interfere in his work. Prachi says they both heard and interpreted it differently. She asks Rambu not to run behind the culprit and waste his time, but he is not listening to her and she doesn't want him to be in trouble because of her. Palavi asks that what was the magic that Prachi did on Rambu that he doesn't think of anything else except her. She thought she is important to her son, but he doesn't even count on her at all. She requests Prachi to go away from her son's life. Prachi recalls Rambu insisting her that they should leave the house and Prachi assures Palavi that she will not take her son away from her and she walks away. Shahana walks to Prachi's room to inform her about Aliyah and Rhea. Prachi cries saying that Palavi is misunderstanding her and she thinks that she is going to take Rambu away from her and Palavi's fear is valid but she would never do that. Shahana asks Prachi to stop crying. Prachi says that she is very bad and says that Rambu had asked her to move out from the family with him but she did not do that. Shahana says that is good. Prachi says Rambu is behind the man who tried to kill her and he shouldn't take the stress to catch that culprit. Shahana says that Rambu's point is valid and asks Prachi to tell Rambu what she is hiding. Prachi says that she wants Rambu to search for the culprit from home as the culprit threatened to kill Rambu if she doesn't stop Rambu from chasing him. Shahana says that the culprit himself is afraid and hence he is trying to frighten Prachi and Prachi should stop fighting with Rambu as Rambu loves her. But Prachi asks Shahana to go and leave her the way she is. Shahana leaves saying that they both love each other and nothing else. Aliyah notices Ria's tension and asks her to relax and meditate. Ria says that she cannot waste her time on meditation and let Rambu and Prachi reunite and have children who will call her auntie. Aliyah smiles and says that she is imagining the old Ria. Ria continues panicking. Aliyah asks her to keep her mind calm. Ria says let us stop talking. Let's go and get Nick out of the cupboard as Shahana wouldn't be there. Aliyah agrees. Ria takes the money back for Nick and the cupboard key. Rambu calls the inspector and asks if he found Nick. The inspector says that he needs some time to find the real culprit. Rambu says he is worried about the family and he fears who among them is the culprit. He just wants his wife's attacker to be caught soon. The inspector says that he can understand the situation. Rambu requests the inspector to come to his house to discuss a strategy to catch the culprit. The inspector agrees and asks him to give him some time to visit his home and then him. Shahana hears his conversation and says Prachi is fine. Rambu asks if Prachi sent her and says that he cannot control his anger and he wants to punish a culprit who tried to arm Prachi. 
Rambro continued venting out his frustration and asked Shana to explain to Prachi to stop her foolishness. Shana asked Rambro to explain it to Prachi himself and says some scholars say that once anger is out, then one will see only love. Rambro says that Prachi will say ten words if he says one and he is not in a mood to fight now and he walks away asking Shahana to tell Prachi that he will not spare the culprit. Shahana thinks that how can Rambro suspect her? She bumps into Grandma and apologizes to her. Grandma writhes in pain. Shahana massages her feet. Grandma asks if Prachi is fine. Shahana says Prachi is fine. Prachi and Rambro are worried for each other always. Grandma asks Shahana to get water for her. Shahana finds Grandma's earring missing and bends down to search for it. Alia and Rhea opens the cupboard. Nick notices Shahana and takes the money bag and closes the door again. Alia acts as frustrated on the servant. Shahana leaves. Grandma asks Alia to call the doctor to treat her new pain. Alia murmurs and goes to get the doctor's number from the diary. Nick feels frustrated seeing Grandma still sitting near the cupboard. Rambo feels anxious recalling all the recent incident and he tries to calm himself thinking that Prachi is fine. But then he vent out his frustration on a punching bag. Prachi passes by and gets concerned seeing Rambo like that. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it and please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.